This uh, year, everyone's already started their Black Friday sales. I, I know, know, right? Like, have you noticed this? I'm seeing ads like Black Friday sale going on now. And I'm like, damn. Yeah, Best Buy already has one going on. I checked Y'all are day. desperate. We, it's, it's like, tell me how good the economy is. Everyone's like, please come buy things. Well, it's not a matter of the economy, although it could be a matter of the economy. It's a matter of um, everyone's just buying their shit online. Nobody wants to go to Black Friday anymore. Because Black Friday is well, the devil. You know, nobody makes enough money to buy frivolous things all the time. Well, it's not a matter of all the time. It's you have the Black Friday, you're buying gifts for your family. Cool. But nobody wants to go to the store anymore because it's hell. Black yeah, Friday was... Going in Christmas shopping at the mall with him. Nightmare. Because he gets in a crowd and he turns into John Wick. <laughs> like, he's just... You can see him, like, tense up. And he's thinking about how he'd, how he'd have to... what How he can kill everyone in our path to the nearest exit. I don't like people. And what might be picked up and used as a weapon. Dan, I don't like people is not a valid defense in court. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. Your Honor, I don't like people. Oh, okay, you can go. <laughs> in his head, like, all right, I can toss her behind that kiosk, pick up a chair. <laughs> so we do a lot of Christmas shopping online now because I can't take him out in public in Christmas season. It's, Everywhere's too crowded. He gets upset. That's just going to be interesting because normally we have Black Friday follies, and I, I wonder if that's coming to an end. God, I hope so. When it, I would almost, you know, I would, I would be, be fine with sacrificing that content for you. Yeah, like as someone who worked a lot of retail in my time, like now I'm professionally nice to cats, but I'll take, I wouldn't miss that shit. I'll take that bullet. I'll, I'll be fine with not doing it anymore because, you know, because that, that's a that's me. We're, we are, as a people are better off. Yeah. Now let's get to Friday sucks. Of course, there are other horrible things which we are going to see right now. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, oh boy. Um. Can I bring Dan when I go shopping? Trust me, you don't want to. I mean, he does carry all the bags, and that is great. But he's thinking about how to kill people with the bags. We're going to start off this week with, I, this, I don't, you know, I don't even see how this seemed like a good idea. I get what they were going for, but this is like something I would expect to see on like Veep or the thick of it. Uh -oh. Um... Let me get the, the link up here for you. Uh, I don't... What happened here? This happened just today, and everyone was like, Oh, Nash, we got to see this. South Dakota Meth Prevention and Awareness Campaign launches today. Um, No, this is not a joke. No, this is not a prank. That's real? That's you, gotta, you gotta look at this. Absolutely oh, yeah, I real. I mean, are you... <laughs> On it. A statewide methamphetamine prevention campaign designed to bring awareness to resources available to those seeking help kicked off Monday. The South Dakota Department of Social Services announces the launch of a campaign called Meth, We're On It. According to a press release, the campaign will focus on awareness for available resources for those seeking help. A new website <laughs> on meth.com. Features resources for meth users to turn to for help. What the, I get what they're they're going for here. The idea is this is a problem. We're on it. Yeah. Except it, I, I feel like it is a double meaning. Like we're like meth. We're on it, and that's a problem. But we're on it. Except, uh, let's. There are more pictures. Uh, yeah. Here's here's um some of the uh the the other advertisements. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I send you this picture. This this is horrible. Oh, we gotta go to the link. Give me the link. Oh my god. For help with meth addiction, call blah 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 or text on meth. <laughs> number. Oh my god, where's the picture? I gotta where's where's the freaking picture? This is beautiful. <laughs> um, alright, here's one. Um that's uh that's there there's a meth i'm on it yeah and um here's some um, uh some 
high schoolers, they're on meth. Um, <laughs> See, the thing is, none of these people are on meth because their skin is way too good. Um, yeah. Grandpa, no! Grandpa's on meth! <laughs> no! What the... Uh, what in the world were they possibly thinking? I mean, I guess it is kind of a shocking in your face, like... Except the imagery is weird. Yeah, like, why is Calpoke Grandpa doing meth? Like, does he even know what meth is? I want Isn't he still just huffing paint? This apparently came from the governor's office, and... Where's the picture of the governor? Is, um, she, that's a Karen, okay? Yeah. Her, her name's not Karen. Her name is Christy Noem, but that's a Karen. Yeah, that is abs- that, that's that's why you're like, what? who thought this was a good idea? Karen. Karen thought this was a good idea. No, you see, it's cool because we're on meth, but we're on meth. You understand? We're doing it like two ways. We're on meth. I mean, they're getting attention for it. Yeah, they're not getting the good attention. They're getting everybody laughing at it. But everybody knows about it. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, here's, here's, this is how well it's working out, Tara. People are making their own versions. Um, it's, it's working out well. Give you the, the copy of the image. Um, yeah, it's, it's going great. It's, it's fantastic. It's not a meme at all now. Oh, no. no. <laughs> it's not a meme at all. See, that's more believable than the actual ad stuff. It is, isn't it? I think that little demon fox might actually be on meth. Um. Yeah. So ne- next it up, feels like something that would come up that would be on like Parks and Rec. It is, does it? Yeah. It, it does, yeah. Yeah. Well, next up from uh, the Department of, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Um. Italian Council is flooded immediately after re- rejecting measures on climate change. That's called karma's a bitch and she's vindictive. <laughs> That's just, what the hell? Veneto Regional Council, which is located in Venice Grand Canal, was flooded for the first time in its history on Tuesday night, just after it rejected measures to combat climate change. The historic Italian city has been brought to its knees this week by the worst flooding there in more than 50 years. And the council chamber in uh, Ferro Fini Palace started to take in water around 10 p.m. local time as councillors were debating the 2020 regional budget. Um, ironically, the chamber was flooded two minutes after the Majority League, Brothers of Italy, and Forza Italia parties rejected our amendments to tackle climate change. Uh, Zanoni, who is a deputy chairman, of the Environment Committee said in the Post, which has photographs of the room underwater. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't understand how a city whose whole thing is we're our sinking for water yeah. and we're sinking could deny climate change. Like I I don't I I why But then again, most of Florida denies climate change. And Florida's not going to fucking exist in 50 years. You say that like it's a bad thing. Um, no, this is this is just one of those... I can imagine them there going... This is... Remember Kevin Bacon in uh, Animal House? All is well. All is... You've never seen Animal... Oh, my God. Of course you've never seen Animal House. <laughs> I know. I was like, are you surprised? It's Animal House. It's a classic. <laughs> what? I didn't know Kevin Bacon was in that movie. Yeah, Kevin Bacon. There's a lot of people in that movie. It's a classic. It's Animal House. But yeah, this is all is well. Exactly like that. Everything's free. Remain calm. All is well. Exactly. We don't need to do anything about climate change. We're fine. We're fine here. I don't know why my shoes are wet. We're fine. I don't know why the council wouldn't just float it away. We're fine. 
We don't need. Have seen Tara? I've seen the North Avenue Irregulars, which is not on Disney Plus. (laughs) And it's a fucking tragedy. You know what else I've seen that isn't on Disney Plus? Enchanted. Why the fuck isn't that on there? Because they had to make room for the flight of the Navigator. Duh. It's got Paul Rubens, Tara. He's a legend. Enchanted isn't even streaming anywhere else. Tara, the cat from outer space, Tara. The cat from outer space. Whatever. I mean, at least they have the Apple Dumpling Gang. And the Apple Dumpling Gang rides again. Very important. (laughs) They have the Cowboy Castaway. How does that even happen? I don't change. (laughs) (laughs) Bringing it back around. Um, Next up is the um, from the Department of I Don't Give a Fuck um, from Florida. Yacht fire believed to be the most expensive blaze in Fort Lauderdale history. Wow. Uh, Let's see if I can find pictures down here. Yeah, there we go. Um, Fire continued to smolder smolder on board two mega yachts in a Fort Lauderdale marina on Sunday as a crane operator worked feverishly to remove scaffolding, blocking firefighters from boarding the vessels. The luxury yachts burst into flame early Saturday morning, now have been sunk to the floor of the New River at the Universal Marine Center, where they've been undergoing restoration. Fort Lauderdale Battalion Chief Stephen Golan called the destruction of the yachts valued at uh, $24 million, quote, the biggest fire loss in Fort Lauderdale history. $24 million. Okay, listen to this. Um, the fire began on the uh, motor yacht built by Trinity Yachts, a 161-foot custom-designed vessel with crew quarters that sleep 10. It's a $16 million estimated value. After the larger fi- fi- yacht caught fire, a northwest wind spread flames to nearby Reflections, a 170-foot Christensen yacht with four staterooms, with an estimated value of $7 million. And all I can say... I silence for the seven fucking million dollar yachts. All I can say to this story is... Good. Yeah. Good. No, if two boats burn down and it is the most expensive fire in the history of Fort Lauderdale, fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. You fuck, fuck, fuck them. If you can afford a $7 million floating mansion. With only four rooms, four staterooms. That's it, four. Like... Think of what you could do with that money. Um, fuck them. The yachts are in a shallow water at the bottom of the new river. Because of the relative shallow depth of the water, the yachts are uh, not submerged. Um, fuck them. Good, you can still go and pee on them. Yeah. Here's, here's what's left. That's, that's what's left here. Um, fuck them. Yeah. Investigators were scouring video surveillance from the marina to determine the fire was intentional. If it was accidental, the exact source of the fire may be difficult to pinpoint. You know what? If it's intentional, hero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know. Arson is a felony. Sure. No one was hurt. But in this case, it's a cool felony. <laughs> it's a cool felony. <laughs> no, it wasn't a violent crime. It was a cool crime. Two boats, two boats, and it is the worst fire. Twenty four is the worst fire in Fort La- Lauderdale history. Fort Lauderdale is not a small place either. No. But if the act of two boats burning down is the worst, fuck them. Yeah. Um. Fuck them all. Fuck them. Fuck them. The cool crime of arson. Yes, exactly. Well, technically, it's a hot felony. Oh. Oh. Wah, wah. Just a reminder that revolutions are breaking the law. This is true. This is true. But, hey. Uh, d- did you hear the part where I said, fuck them? <coughs> it's kind of... I did. Yeah. Next up, this one is, oh, lordy lady, Really? You'll have to start the video to see the picture. I apologize for this, but uh, you guys at home won't. Anyway, 
Woman in Argentina caught with nine pounds of marijuana inside fake baby bump. <laughs> Congratulations, it's a blunt. <laughs> now that's a gender reveal. <laughs> What's your gender, THC? Narco pregnancy. That's what the officials in Argentina said about a woman's fake baby bump filled with marijuana. It doesn't even look real. It doesn't look real either. It's <laughs> it's all cr it looks crinkly. It's also like ba you don't have that big a baby bump and not put on weight anywhere else. No, no, you because that that's you not how that because your body can't support that. That's without not... putting on weight anywhere else. That's not a baby. That's a tumor. You wouldn't be able to stand up straight. Yeah. If if you see someone who looks like this in real life, that's not a pregnancy. That's a tumor. Yeah. Or a lot of weed. Police say the woman was carrying 15 bricks of weed hidden inside a fake belly. She was traveling with a group near the Chilean border when officers stopped them. They initially searched a man of the group and found marijuana in his bag. Officers then say they then noticed the woman with a fake belly say the woman made the belly out of paste look arts and crafts um not gonna get you through security we've seen this before remember the arts and crafts uh license plates we keep yeah. seeing those don't work either and they make fake pregnancy bellies they do with like and that's the other thing like you don't have a baby that big and tits that small <laughs> because Good to know biology lesson your tits get bigger because they fill with milk for that baby. No, but yeah, if you got one of those fake baby... And because your hormones are going nuts. If you got one of those fake baby uh, things, the official one, and cut it open and take out all the stuffing and replace right. it with weed, it wouldn't look fine. Right. And then you're, everything's going to look proportionate. Is the baby due on 420? Oh. <clears throat> Baby is doing 420. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know how you, th how did you think this was going to work? How did you look in the mirror and go, yep, that's perfect. No one's going to say a thing. Totally looks natural. That's not a, it's, it, that'll be fine. You made a fucking paper mache belly and filled it with weed. I mean, do you remember that movie, uh, that movie, that, that video, um, uh, uh, Ben caught stealing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Jane's that addiction. That one looked more accurate than this. That was that was Jane's addiction. That was a music video. And that looked more more convincing. Oh, next up, um when I first read this headline, I'm like, "Oh, okay. Well, you know, this happens to cooks. There's fire involved. That that makes sense." But then I read a little deeper. Cuz first I saw the headline. All right, let's all see the headline here. Line cook at the exchange accused of activating hotel sprinklers causing $300 in da $300,000 in damage. I thought hey, burned something. I thought, "Wait, wait, get off the guy's butt." You know, he's then a I cook. Saw his face. Yeah, he well, no, it's he's a cook. Stuff happens, you know. What do you want? But wait. Um employee of the exchange restaurant housed in the Lancaster Marriott Hotel is accused of tripping the hotel sprinkler system when he used a single occupancy bathroom. Wow, what did you eat? <laughs> <laughs> Philip Key, 27, was charged with arson, causing catastrophe. I didn't know that was a, that sounds like an awesome crime. Causing catastrophe. Is that like causing a commotion? <laughs> and criminal mischief by fire. He was taken into custody and transported to Lancaster County Prison. Key was caught on camera entering and exiting the bathroom in question at the time the sprinklers were activated. Surveillance video revealed that he was soaked when he entered the bath when he exited the bathroom. Um, Marriott Hotel and police said the sprinklers caused up to three hundred thousand dollars in damages. Employees told police they think Key, a line cook at the exchange, used a lighter and napkin to trip the system. Police were provided with photographs of burnt napkins and paper towels that employees found in the bathroom. You didn't take them with you? Signs of burning and charring were found around the sprinkler oh, head in the bathroom. Them? There's a toilet right there? <laughs> there's, a to there's a disposal system right there. 
I have had jobs where I have been so mad that I was, I did a full, you know, I, 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 I'm going to burn down the building. I've been on fire. I, 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 if, if, if I have to move my desk one more time, I'm going to burn down. I was been like that. I've never acted on it because I don't like jail. Yeah. It's the decor is Many awful. My most recent retail job, I threatened to step, set the store on fire. <laughs> but you didn't because no. jail. Because um, I don't look good in orange. Um, yeah, I don't look good in orange. Uh, I don't get to pick my own roommate. So it's not even like college. I have to no. pee in front of everybody. That's no fun. I don't um, get to wear makeup. So it's, jail's awful. I So I did not burn it. And he, then there's possible shanking. And this guy looks very surprised at like, huh, you go to jail for this? No, the look on his face, he was like, huh. Me. The causing catastrophe. I love that charge. Yeah. That's like the best. You've been arrested for causing catastrophe. Whoa, really? Awesome. That's a cool crime. That's a cool crime. Causing catastrophe is one of the cool crimes. But dude, I mean, uh, line cook is a shitty job. In it. Like, I know. Yeah. But it, it's, it, you don't try to, you don't, you didn't even cover the freaking evidence. Or if you're going to try to burn down the hotel. You're already in the kitchen. Right. Just just leave a thing in a pan and walk away and forget. Yeah, forget. Just have an accident. You want to set off the sprinklers, you work in the best place for it. <laughs> you don't, you know, do it in the best. Because... <laughs> when i first read this this article i thought that they were like giving this guy crap because you know oh you're a cook you shouldn't have made the damages like but no it turns out no he's an idiot and a lot of the systems now are they're computerized so they know which sprinkler was tripped yep even if there's not video or anything the system is such that they know which sprinkler tripped first all right and now the last story of the week always a doozy this one is the one this is the story we've been we were destined to tell that only we could provide to you our audience um you all wanted to hear us us take our take on this you all sent us this story it will live in infamy ladies and gentlemen i give you feral hogs on cocaine <laughs> feral hogs on cocaine a stash of cocaine worth $22,000 hidden in an Italian forest by a gang of suspected drug dealers was reportedly destroyed by wild boars. That congressman was right. We do need guns for the 30 hogs. and 50 feral hogs on cocaine. I mean, 30 to 50 feral hogs on cocaine is a legitimate concern. <laughs> I would like all the guns, please. Police dismantled the smuggling, oper smuggling operation in Tuscany after placing a wiretap on members of the gang. Um, while listening to a call, officials overheard a person complaining about the damage caused by the hogs. Four suspects were arrested on drug charges after the bust. Um, the drug stash was hidden in a forest in the uh, Valdecina, Valdeciana? Valdeciana Valley. I think that's how it's said. Uh, law Valdeciana. Valdeciana. Uh, law enforcement probe, which was span which spanned between September 2018 and March 2019, discovered one of the gang members was allegedly distributing drugs in a nightclub. Um, it is not immediately known what happened to the curious animals. An unknown number of boars allegedly dug up and destroyed the gang's packages, distributing their contents into the woods. <laughs> All right, when I first read that, distributing their contents in the woods, I'm like. Are they setting up their own network? Yeah, they're dealers. Are the are the are the hogs dealing now? That's a documentary I want Morgan Freeman to narrate. <laughs> fuck, fuck March of the Penguins. Cartel of the Hogs. <laughs> Disney Plus. That's educational. Here we see the hogs distributing the product among the members. If anyone comes back a little light, the head hog will make them pay at the end of the afternoon. Cool. You don't come back light on Boss Hog. <laughs> Just, God damn. 
I just, I love the fucking good God. So I'm just, these, these poor, I, I'm sorry, these poor hogs. They saw this, they thought it was food. Cause hogs in feral, feral boars in the wild are, are garbage. They'll eat machines. pretty much anything. Yeah. So they are used these to. domestic pigs will eat pretty much anything. They are used to garbage. They are used to plastic packaging containing food. So they saw, the, they found, the, they smelled something. They dug up these plastic packages and they destroyed them. And now they're fucking high. And they lost millions on the stock market. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real fucking tragedy, actually. And then they burned down their yachts. <laughs> <laughs> So now, apparently, somewhere in the in the forest of Italy, there are a bunch of really strung out hogs looking yeah. for a fix. <laughs> They're probably digging up everything they could find just in the yeah. hope that... I need more. I need more. <laughs> can it happen again? Oh, yeah, someone's pointing... Uh, Mariana says, no one can eat that pork. Can you just imagine cocaine pork? Bacon with cocaine. <laughs> Cocaine I bacon. I try it. I have depression. I'm always tired. I'll try it. <laughs> it's bacon and cocaine. Might lose 10 pounds. Okay, oh. Hev says, no, but seriously, Pablo Escobar. <laughs> That's wow. terrible. That's terrible. It's amazing. People in the, people in the channel are pitching bay cocaine. Bacon cane. Like that. Porcos coming to Netflix. <laughs> this is one of those confluences of events that happens on this planet that just makes you go, who's in charge here? How does this happen? Loki. Loki's in charge. He has the Tesseract. <laughs> Fair enough. Just, they're, they're these strung out cocaine hogs that need help. They need a program. This is like a Sarah McLaughlin commercial waiting to happen. <laughs> what the fuck song would you hear? Because <laughs> it sure as hell wouldn't be in the arms of an angel. Well, that show is about that. Ironically, that song is about someone ODing on heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it got picked for the sad animal commercials, <laughs> but that song's about a heroin overdose. It all comes so around. Actually, it perfect. All, it all comes around is the thing. Yeah. God. So I guess. The first thing we learned this week is don't bury your drugs in the woods. No. Why would that's not yeah, a good fucked up Disney movie. <laughs> oh, Timon you and might Pumbaa. actually get a musical number out of those animals. Timon and Pumbaa will never be the same, man. <sighs> of course, Nathan Lane already sounds like he's on cocaine, so you know. <laughs> anyway. Um, we've learned that, uh, you know, if your job involves fire and you want to cause a fire, do your job for the fire. Don't freelance the fire. Don't yeah. be like, don't go elsewhere. Cause that's suspicious. And yeah. what did you think was going to happen? the perfect crime right in front of you. Causing catastrophe. It's a wonderful charge to get charged with. Um, we've learned if you're going to fake a pregnancy as a way to smuggle drugs, learn some anatomy, you know? Yeah. Can you just go, go study some, 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 uh, models, get an idea of what you're doing. Don't just make some shit out of paper mache and call it good. That's what you do in like 10th grade. Yeah. For a science project. You just make some or shit out of paper. Play. Oh, I have to be pregnant. Here's a basketball. Yeah, it was, no. It's not how the human body works. Um, we've learned that uh, no one cares if yachts burn down, and that's a good thing. Um, just fuck them. We've learned that if if you screw if you if you give the climate the finger, the climate will give you the finger right back. It doesn't As well care. It, should. it doesn't care. Greta Thunberg is actually a very powerful witch. <laughs> and she just sees the headlines and is like, okay. There you go. There you go. She's an earth mage. There you are. And finally, we've learned this week, um, 
As always, run your new slogan by a 14-year-old. And if they giggle, don't use it. Especially not for drug programs. Yes. You don't want anybody giggling at the drug programs. No. no Unless, I mean, they might giggle if they need the drug program because they're on the drugs already. <laughs> Depending on the drugs, everything might be funny. But you don't want sober people giggling at your drug program. Just, we've got to get the now we've got to get the feral hogs on the drug broke. Send them to South Dakota. <clears throat> They're on it. <laughs> that is just amazing. Yeah, I'm sure it was. You know, hope nobody was hiking that day. I see boars on coke, <laughs> and I think to myself. What a wonderful world!